In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to isolate and prepare the walls and roof and whatever, whatever other components you want to have cut out on the laser. So we're assuming that your model is complete and you are ready to start to kind of um, organizing all of the pieces to be cut out on the laser. So what I like to do is do this from the 3D view. I'm going to start by duplicating the 3, 3D view. I'll duplicate with detailing and I'm going to rename this one um, 3D for laser. Oh, what is it doing? There's all kinds of crazy stuff happening here. How about we do that? Um, 3D for laser. All right. And then this here, I'm going to just set up to um, have all the things so I don't need to redo the settings each time, but I'm not messing with my base view. So I'm going to hide the trees. So I will go to hide and view and I'll go to category so that all of the trees get hidden. Um, I'm going to hide this uh, topography as well. Hide and view elements and now they are all hidden. So I'm also going to um, uncrop it so the crop isn't kind of getting in my way unless I really want it to and uh, turn off the boundary of the crop region. And then I'm going to change the uh, view of it to hidden line. And so you can change this to a little bit more realistic to be shaded or whatever it is you want so that you capture the detail you want to have captured when you send it to the laser. I think that hidden line is going to do the trick for me. Okay, so this here is my um, sort of starting point for all of the views I'm going to make. So I'm now going to go to duplicate view once more. And now with this one, I'm going to call this, let's make the, um, so the front of this place is my east. So east, oh my goodness, why am I having trouble renaming these east front for the laser, east front laser. Okay, so this 3D view is going to be east front laser because this is one of my standard views and I can actually just see it by clicking on that side of the view cube. I'm not going to fuss around with it more than that. I'll just click on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click all of the parts that I want to um, have cut out in that cut on the laser. So I want to include the door. I'm going to hold down control and I also want to include the main part of the wall. You'll notice that there's this little sliver of wall. I kind of want to have that included as well. So I'll click on that. And so all of these parts here, I would want cut out on the laser. Um, and so I'm going to now go down to the temporary hide isolate. So that pair of glasses and I'm going to um, isolate element. And now everything else will get stripped away except for the stuff that I've selected. And voila, I have this beautiful piece kind of set ready to go um, to be cut out on the laser. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my 3D for laser 3D view and I'm going to create another one. So duplicate with detailing. And uh, let's now grab this side here. So um, it's another of the standard views, one of my standard elevations. So I will go over to the front and let me just remind myself what this is. This is the south. So I'm going to save this as the south side laser. Okay. So now for this one, I do want to capture the window. So I'm going to click window, hold control, click the other window, and then click this side here. I'm also going to click this little piece here because I kind of want that cut out with it. Um, and now I'm going to go down to my cool little tool here and I'm going to um, isolate element and all the things that I've selected are isolated. So this wall does go up a little bit here. That's something I can pretty easily clean up in AutoCAD. If you want to clean it up ahead of time, um, what you can do is um, go to the turn on the crop region and uh, just uh, uh, pull the crop region in nice and tight so that uh, it's just um, focusing on what you're actually going to be cutting out. So there is my new crop region. And so now I'm going to turn on my crop region. So it's actually cropped. And then I'm going to turn off the outline of the crop region. So I've cropped it there and use the hide isolate. So that's all good to go. That side is ready. Now I'm going to go back to my base 3D view um, and uh, create another 
copy of it, duplicate with detailing. And this one is going to be my roof. So here we're going to try something a little bit different. So this is my um, south roof laser. All right. So here's the cool stuff. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to your view cube. You're going to right mouse click, go down to orient to plane, and uh, pick a plane. Okay, hit OK. And now you're just going to select the plane that you want to basically cut that piece out on the laser. So I've selected a plane. So now what's happening is we're looking straight at the um, orthographic or your line of sight is, is at right angles looking straight at that piece. So it's the true width and height. And we're not looking at it at a little angle so it's not distorted. All right, so I want that roof there. If I now click on it and go back to my cool little glasses there and say isolate element. Um, it's isolated, but there's a little bit more going on. So you are welcome to um, trim that just a little bit more by pulling open your crop region and uh, trimming stuff into that crop region there so that it uh, is nice and cropped. All right, so it goes in there, goes in there. So I have cropped it pretty close. Um, and now I will, uh, apply the crop and turn off the boundaries of the crop. So that is my south roof. So I will continue and do this for all of the parts, um, but that's kind of the basics. So I think you have enough to go ahead with there. So now I'm going to go over to my sheets and I'm going to create a new sheet. Um, B size is just fine. Hit OK. And now I can drag in the east front view, the south roof view, the south side view and all of these walls that I've created for the laser. All right. Once those are in there, um, all of the walls that you need, uh, I would recommend that you rename this. So rename, uh, leave the number or change the number, whatever. Um, this is just my laser parts. All right. Now you need to save this as a DXF in order to transfer it into AutoCAD. So I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Export, and then CAD Formats and DXF. Check that your settings are correct here. Um, export is probably just going to be this current view and sheet, unless you have several. Go to Next. Make sure that it is saving it as a DXF, that that's what the file type is. Pay attention to where it's saving it so that you um, can find it back when you get into AutoCAD. Go ahead and hit OK. And uh, this last step is actually pretty important. It might kind of look like a distracting little error, but um, it's telling you that you have some things that are hidden. And uh, it's important that you leave them hidden because if you unclick that, if you, if you click the first option here, um, all that work of isolating and hiding stuff will be undone. So make sure that you leave the temporary hidden stuff hidden and you should be good to go. So then you're gonna go ahead into AutoCAD and uh, we're going to do a few more steps with these pieces in AutoCAD in order to um, get them set up properly for the laser.